Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. It's the Skydio again, and today we're doing a range test. I'm up here on the mountain of Haleakala on Maui, Hawaii, where I like to do a lot of my range tests because we have a great line of sight, unobstructed, and there's no interference up here. So something you can expect with this if you're in the country and you want to fly far and get some cool shots, this might help help you out. So today we're going to put the Skydio up. I think I'm also going to just use the beacon just in case um, it loses connection. I've heard some stories about sometimes it just lands way out there. So we're gonna see if that's the case. Anyway, let's uh, power this thing up, get it up in the air and see how far we can get with a controller in a range test. Let's do it. Okay guys, so here we go. I'll have my screen recording. Just had it sitting here for about a minute and I've had that this is the GPS beacon here, I've had that on. And so everything's connected all together with the controller, the beacon and the Skydio. 4K, we want to be in 30 HDR. Yep. So we'll just do that and just see how it does. Let's go ahead and launch. So I'm just holding it to launch. Taking off as normal. Okay. And it's turning around. Oh, cool. They got that done pretty good, but we don't want to um, track ourselves, right? So let's X out a motion track here on the top right. Oh, it's just starting to orbit, neat. So I'm gonna X out of there and then it just stops everything. So we'll turn around and we will just go straight out that way. Get my position how I want. And let's just go forward. Okay, so I'm just full stick forward. And I'm going to have this video up on the screen so you guys can see this. Maybe go up a little higher. Okay. So we're only going 11 miles per hour. I did do an update and there's, all, there's actually another update that you can do. But it looks like that update just uh, solves a crash from Adobe Premiere or something. So I'm not, not even going to do that update. We're just going to fly it as it is. Uh, we want to see if we can turn our gimbal down. There we go. So moving the gimbal, we're only flying at 11 miles per hour. So we're going to keep an eye on our battery, 90%. If anything happens and we still have range, we'll just turn around around 50. Um, looking good so far. There's actually some clouds over there. So maybe I'll come down a little bit. And that's great. We have our telemetry over there um, in the left top of the screen. I'm still full stick forward. There is some breeze coming at us here. So it's fighting a little breeze, which is good because when you're doing range tests, you want to have be with the breeze on the way back, right? Um, so I'm just tilting the camera up and down a little and just really just looking at the video quality in my screen here on the phone. Looks like we are going through the clouds, so it might be a little hazy from time to time. We'll get through that in just a second. But no obstruction between me and the drone. Um, we're at 1,600 feet, looking good. Cruising at a slow nine, nine miles per hour. What it may have done is reset um, all of the parameters to go a little faster in the tilt parameters. So. That might be why it's going this slow. I haven't even checked that. But so far, so good. I'm just pointing this antenna. If you look in my hat cam, I'm just trying to... This is the antenna of the controller. This is basically the Anafi controller rebranded. This is the antenna up here. So I'm keeping that antenna pointed directly at it as much as possible. Let's pull the camera up. So far, it's doing great, though. Um, still have 83% power. I'm just full stick forward fighting some wind. And we're about a half mile now. Okay. I'm not seeing any hiccups whatsoever in the um, video on the screen, which is good. See how I'm moving this gimbal down nice and smooth. Let's get a full downward shot all the way down as we're moving slowly over the countryside here. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. On the screen, it looks great. A nice HDR shot. And let's pull the camera back up. I 
That's funny, you see that little shadow on the ground there? That's like a little virtual image of the Skydio there going across the ground. Interesting, huh? Oh, looking for Skydio. So the beacon dropped out at 3,000 feet, guys. And it's beeping at me. There's a red light. And it's saying, if you can see that, looking for Skydio. So that beacon ain't working no more at 3,000 feet. So we're apparently direct connecting to the Skydio, I guess. It didn't connect through the controller like I thought it would. And now that's saying hovering select for motion track on the actual beacon. Still looking for Skydio. On my screen though, I'm seeing it still moving at about eight miles per hour. Looks like there's a little more wind over here. Uh, but it's totally smooth still. I'm just going to keep going out until we hit about 50%, guys, or maybe even 60 just to be safe. Because in the park, this thing landed really quick. I'm going to turn a little to the right there and maybe come down just a tad. Um, so I'm surprised. Uh, this is great range. I just did a range test on the Power Vision Power Egg X, and it was already very choppy here boy we're going into the clouds aren't we um let's come down a little bit there we go just on the fringe of those clouds still going strong it's just going slow at eight eight or nine miles per hour still trying to move the gimbal okay a little choppy if you look at that there on the phone screen it's getting a little choppy when i'm Moving up or down. Wow, look. I can see the Skydio image on the cloud. <laughs> I think it's sensing maybe the bottom of the cloud or something. You see that in my phone screen? Little image of the, the Skydio um, dropping in and out there when I pull the camera down. Let's pull the camera back up and maybe turn a little bit to West Maui. Just try to get out of these clouds. You see to the left there, it's a little bit uh, cloudy there. So anyway, uh, I am definitely surprised at how much range we're getting this. We're hitting a mile now. See up on the top left, we're at 52,000 feet. So we're hitting a mile and we're at 66%. So fantastic, better than I thought it would be. It's a little bit hiccupy when I'm going up and down. You see that uh, pixelation. Okay, um, return limit reached. All right, well, you know what? Just to be safe, I'm gonna hit return. And we went over a mile. That's safe to say we went over a mile. It started to get really blotchy um, when I got to that point. And I really do not want to lose this drone because it's unclear of how good this thing is on its um, ability to return. And we're already at just over 60%. So I'm going to play it safe on this one. Maybe I'll do another one and risk it a little more if I have a better place to land. I'm trying to move the gimbal up and down and it's completely locked. So I can't do any gimbal movement. And I'm really trying hard to look at the screen. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're, the Skydio comes backwards when it returns to home. Okay. So we're coming home a little faster, and we're with the wind now. So we should be just fine. But I got to say, I am um, a, little bit, a little bit impressed uh, more than I thought. that This is going more than I thought it is going, I should say, with a clean picture. Really wish we could do some kind of movement when we're coming home now, though. I can't move the gimbal or do anything. We'll just let it come home and um, see where it lands so, or see how far close it gets. This one's kind of weird because it doesn't seem like it really lands back where you took off. It comes where you're at and it just waits for a command when it gets close to you. So... 
I do have good video. It's very clear. I can't move my gimbal again. I'm coming at it back at 10 miles per hour. And what is it? It's only six feet high. <laughs> is that what it, that means up there on the top left? Yeah, but it should be okay because six feet high where I'm standing is clearing everything. You know what I mean? So there shouldn't be an issue there. I want to try to turn the head. Nothing. So no head turning. Um, what if we try to push forward on the stick? Let's see what happens. Nothing. Still coming home at the same rate. Pull back on the stick. So it basically locks out all your controls when it's returning home, FYI. Okay. And that's fine. I'm just going to let it do that. We're at 51%. And we're coming back at uh, 9 to 10 miles per hour. So that's perfectly fine. I have no problem with that. So far, very impressed. Guys camping up here at Pulley Pulley. We just camped. My kids are actually over in the tents down at our camping spot. This is a great place up here on Maui to um, see the views and do some camping, especially in the situation here, because you can really distance yourself from people, you know. And, um, you know, you can keep your social distancing and nobody really bothers you. You can see there's one truck way over there. I can see here's some people way down there. So, yeah, in these weird times, you just want to, this is a great place to be. Anyway, it's almost like I can hear it coming back. That picture looks really nice. And it's just been coming back solid. Um, this is doing way better than I thought it would. So congrats, Skydio. You, you did a good job at, um, well, at least in no interference areas. They did a good job at uh, giving you a nice, clear picture, great control. And we went past a mile, remember? No, that was a car I think I heard, not the drone. So the return to home is working great. And the battery scale looks like it's also doing good because we're still at 41%. And we're just over 1,600 feet away. So it is coming back nice and slow. Let's check out our maps real quick, guys, while it's coming back. There we go. So we do have nice quality maps. It's using my phone data. Click on that, and we look at that. We have our um, satellite imagery. So that's all pulling in and working great. Again, I was saying I did a, just did a range test on the Power Rig X, and they're still having trouble with their maps. That's unfortunate. But this one's working great. You just hit that. And there we go. So we can do hybrid with street names. We can just do a street map. And you hit it again and you just have a satellite without street names. So that's great for whatever reason you want. Okay, now I'm definitely hearing it. Going to tap on the video screen again. Just about 700 feet away. And I'll have had that, remember that 4K HDR footage up there while I've been talking and you guys have been joining me on this journey to see these capabilities. Um, but I want to say just over a mile. Again, when we hit that return to home spot, I will have that, have had that um, range pop up in mileage and footage. And then when we do a pros and cons, I'll probably also have that pop up. But there we are. So I'm seeing it in my hat cam. Uh, yeah, maybe a little higher than five feet from my location, but that's okay. Uh, it seems like it's pretty accurate for the height. 100 feet away. Oh, it just got lower. Oh, it dodged that bird. That was cool. The bird flew right over it. Did you see that? And it went down a bit. Unable to return. Oh, and then check this out. 
flying to waypoint is what the beacon says. It just beeped at me. It's only got 30% power left. That's weird. So anyway, this is where the Skydio decided to return to. See that? So I don't know what it's doing right now, but it just exited everything and I just pushed up. So fantastic. We got 29% power left. I'm gonna go ahead and land it here, guys. If you do wanna see all the other stuff this drone can do, it's pretty amazing because it's got like six cameras on it, right? You see all this stuff it can do? Let me just click on my truck real quick. Let's use up a little bit of the battery here. You can do all kinds of orbit and tracking. All these kinds of neat things. See, I'm just pushing to the right with my controller stick. Just look how amazing this thing is. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to like dodge anything. It does everything for you. Full stick to the right. And you see how I was just keeping that truck locked in there? Fantastic. If you, if you guys do want to see my... Um, if you do want to see my... I'm going to X this. See how you can X up here and then you go back into normal flying. If you guys do want to see like my 4x4 trip, check that out because we went four-wheeling and I was tracking the truck through the trees. It was amazing. That's also in the playlist on this one. So I'm going to land it here manually. Doesn't really want to move around too close because remember this does have obstacle avoidance. Let's have it land. Pulling down. Nope. We're just going to have to press land on the screen. Sorry about that. I totally forgot. Pressing land. Holding land. You can still move it around a little if you want to. If you're off and you have to adjust it. But... Um, that's it guys, awesome. Man, this day is just getting more beautiful. Look at that, what a nice day. Okay guys, so what'd you think? First Skydio 2 range test here. Remember, this was a, a totally clear line of sight flight with no interference in the area. All I had on my phone was the, the data. I had Bluetooth and I had Wi-Fi off on my phone. Um, that flight got us down to 15%, but I'm surprised, um, did better than I thought. We got over a mile. Again, I'll have that exact those exact numbers pop up um, when we did turn around the exact distance. It was going kind of slow, but you can adjust in the settings. You can adjust the attitude on this and you can make it fly faster. Uh, I think since I did the update, it reset all that stuff. It had very smooth video all the way up until it wanted to return home. And I just kind of did it. That was its own like uh, calculated return to home. As you could see up on the screen, it was saying, I think it said only enough to return home. So better safe than sorry on that especially with one of these expensive drones but i may push it a little farther it gave me the option to cancel that if i wanted to and we did get back at maybe around 29 30 percent so we could have tried to go farther but when it did have that warning up remember it did uh get really really pixelated and it looked like it was going to be dropping out anyway at a little over a mile so anyway that's the skydio 2 range test guys and don't forget oh somebody's flying a race wing cool don't forget that uh, I will have the Skydio playlist pop up here if you want to see everything from the unboxing to my initial flight with just the phone tracking and also with the beacon tracking when I track my truck. That was in my maiden test flight. Then I did a park flight with the controller so you could see how it really all works with the controller. And then this is finally the range test. Definitely going to do some more. I'm not really done with this. I want to do some faster tracking and stuff. Um, you guys probably have seen a lot of videos, but I want to do my own kind of fast tracking stuff on this too, because it's really good at that and just amazingly awesome at avoiding obstacles. And I'll have had that HDR video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, playlist down there also, and also where you can pick up and buy the Skydio and see more of the specs if you're interested. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.